Okay. Well, welcome, David D. Giorgio. Oh, thank you, <laughs> Laptop Laura or yeah. Peterson. <laughs> I'm excited to sit down with you and talk about speaking gigs. Because if anyone has followed my journey in entrepreneurship, they know that I used to be petrified of speaking on stage. And literally last year, one of, one of the first ones that I did after saying, I'm going to change my story, we met. So we were both speakers on stage at an event and you shared that you used to be a high school teacher and I used to be a high school teacher. So I was like, oh, I totally connect with him. So we just started chatting and have become buddies and collab partners now. That's right. That's right. And I got to tell you, it's so funny. I love that we're talking about this and how this all came to be because for the last couple of years, when I moved to San Diego, the most asked thing I get Mm. People don't want to work on their talk. They don't want to get good. They don't want, they're not interested in it. They're like, okay, how do I get speaking gigs? That's all I want. And I always like, look, people back off. <laughs> <laughs> but now I look, I really understand. I get it. And, and mm. truly to start getting good as a speaker and to really understand it, you need opportunities. To right. Even if you create an opportunity for yourself in your own living room and share with your friends, getting up to speak is the thing that will start. And you, you've experienced yeah. this yourself, right? It makes mm. all the difference. And you learn what happens when your clicker stops working. Oh and my gosh. Yeah. That was later, still don't work, right? Yeah. It was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited to talk about this with you and share this out with everybody. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like, you know, I'm all about books and your book hit bestseller in 10 countries this past because October. Because of you. It was a team effort. <laughs> team effort. Yeah. And and so I love books because it feels like it's got some magical fairy dust around giving people credibility, sharing their message, and just being another tool that people can buy for like a low ticket item mm -hmm. price point to really get to know you better and then decide if they want to invest more in your other products and services that you have. So it's like just this amazing tool. Yeah. But then once you've got that, I feel like at least so many of my clients and I myself went through that journey. It was like, okay, I've got the book. Now I want to kind of leverage to the next level. And there's also something magical about being on stage in front of people. Can you talk a little bit about that? Well, so being an author, it's right in the word authority gives right. you that authority. And when you, and there's a lot of people who say you don't need to have a book to be a speaker, you don't, you know, and vice versa and, and whatnot. But the, the, I really think it is that if you have both, mm -hmm. if you speak and have a book, there's this cachet that is attached to you because everybody knows it takes great courage. Not everybody can speak publicly. And when people do start speaking publicly and start getting good at it and then start getting paid or being able to convert an audience, I mean, it's amazing to watch and people look up to people who can present well, who can communicate well. Mm -hmm. So it really is, uh, you know, as much as I will say, speaking is often touted as the best way to, to build your business. And it absolutely can be. It's also a great way to ruin your business if you're terrible at it. Mm. Or, or because you have one shot in front of an audience, right? But if you actually start to work with people like you and I, and you get a book and this, uh, people just want you to show up and be yourself and be real. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm so excited that we've started working on what we're working on to get people out there more. In yeah. A way. <laughs> yeah. Stay tuned till later because we're going to reveal something that we are working on and it's for a very few select only. So, that's right. uh, but I wanted to ask you a couple other things too. And mm -hmm and give some tips and tricks to the audience. But yeah. when did you first start speaking? Because you were a teacher. And then mm -hmm. how did you transition into being a speaker and a speaker coach? So I've always, it's funny when, uh, so I've always been speaking and I've always, I mean, think as teachers were constantly right. speaking. I did some conferences as a teacher, also not as an educator, like I actually spoke. Um, and I, I mean, I started in grade three, <laughs> you know, speech, I won speech competitions. It was me oh. and Andrea. And we went up against each other. And, um, and then, you know, as a theater producer, director, creator, I've been working with performers, presenters, really, I've been helping people to communicate my entire life. And it's what I love to do the most. 
Now, when I officially started to call myself or associate as a speaker coach is when I moved here to San Diego and I came and I saw so many speakers not be excellent on the stage. And I thought, okay, I need to, and I was kind of tired of being in the theater space. It's just a lot of work in the dark. And I thought, okay, I want to do something that will really impact people, not just entertain them. Mm. And working with speakers, you know, in TEDx conferences or people who are up to wanting to change the world and make a difference for others is, is very, very satisfying. So the last three, four years is when I've really focused specifically on speakers only. Mm. That's cool. And so speaking of TED Talks, because mm-hmm. you are an official coach for a local TED chapter here in San Diego. Mm -hmm. What is one tip for somebody who is like, okay, I dream about doing a TED talk. How can I make sure it's a good one? So it's so funny. I'm actually going to be coaching uh, someone who is speaking at TEDx Donovan Correctional a little bit later this year, which is a very unique event where there are speakers from inside the maximum security prison. Wow. And there are a few speakers from outside of the prison brought in. And I I can't wait. I mean, I've never been to prison or in a prison. And I'm going to be there um, at the end of April this year. And I was talking to the organizers. And the one thing that they said, so this is very timely, is the person that you're coaching, what we want to make sure is that we get out, like we want it to be authentic to them. Look, an idea worth spreading isn't something that you come up with because you think the market wants it. An idea worth spreading is something that you believe and that you're living. So if you want to give a really great TED Talk, you've got to talk about something that fires you up. Pick your favorite TED Talk, you know, and all of these people would say that it wasn't anything extraordinary. The Simon Sinek's, the Brene Browns, they didn't know that they were going to go viral. That was just a unicorn that happened, right? But when you watch those talks, any of them that went really viral, what you see is people just talking about something they are so passionate about. So what are you passionate about? What do you believe unequivocally? What, what could you talk about nonstop? Create a talk around that. And even if you're, you're, you have to create a talk, say, in the corporate market to solve a problem for an audience, that's okay. But make sure if you're going to attach stories and attach your humanity into it so that you can get excited and just be yourself in that talk. That's mm-hmm. the biggest key. It truly is the X factors of great performances across all industries. Yeah, that makes sense. And like, even if you're going to do a talk at like a business conference where you're maybe teaching five ways to hit a seller on Amazon or something, would you still suggest to build in story and to build in like that core idea that you truly believe in to get people connected to you and emotionally feeling like, okay, I'm on board before you weave in the lessons as well? Yeah. People follow people. Mm -hmm. And while it's possible to create a product or an offering or a service that solves a quick problem that might in the short term convert and make some money for the short term, at the end of the day, there's no loyalty. Mm. So when I saw you speak at the conference we were both at, what I loved is that the story that you share, which has really nothing to do with writing books at all. The print your own shirt story that people on shirt. my podcast have for sure heard. <laughs> yeah. It, which it's so in alignment with who you are and it transfers so beautifully. It also makes you very real, very attainable. You're not just this like extraordinary, amazing person speaking on stage and helping people go bestseller around the world because I can't do that if I'm at the start of my entrepreneurial journey. Right. right? So the more real human you can make yourself, the more your conversion, for lack of a better way to say it, and conversion equals standing ovations, uh, getting shares and likes, selling, your conversion goes up. The more real and human you can be and, and the more authentic and more on purpose you can be, the better always. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah, I, I've definitely, I've had people say to me, wow, I'm so glad you shared that you were a nerd in high school and like weren't part of the popular crowd because when I see you now, you seem confident and you're like running your own groups in San Diego and you're doing all these things and you just, you just seem like you would have been like a popular one. I'm like, Oh God, not even close. And so they feel like more related to me because 
where I am now versus 20 years ago is completely different. We've all gone through a journey. Right. And yeah, and it's so funny like that you mentioned that. Yeah, same thing with me. I was extremely bullied all throughout my school years and it was very, very difficult. So now the perception of people is, oh my gosh, David, every time I see you on video or you speak, it's extraordinary. It's amazing. It's almost unattainable to me because you're just so good at it. There's a lot of work that goes into this. Yeah. But when I share parts of my story about being bullied and this is still a struggle and I question myself every day, now you're not just this golden child anymore, right? You make yourself real to people. And I just want to be clear, we don't do that for manipulation in speaking. Right. That's terrible. And there is this movement happening right now. People, you know, like right before the big pitch, they'll tell the deepest, darkest, saddest right. story, you right. know, and then- oh, I've seen that. It's just terrible. And everybody feels it. You feel uncomfortable and it's weird and it doesn't even like connect to what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. So be, have the integrity and the true authenticity and take a look at your life and share the stories that, that matter, that connect to your topic and, and to your audience. I love that. So once someone is like, okay, I want to speak more and maybe I've tapped out some of the personal connections. Cause really in 2018, all the places I spoke was through relationships and just personal connections and, right. and relationships I had built over years. Mm -hmm. They just kind of all came together. Cause I was like, okay, I'm finally ready. Uh, but now as we were talking at the end of 2018, I was like, okay, I'm ready to do more and kind of go outside of just my zone of who I know. And you were like, yeah, I'm going gung ho doing a bunch too what would you say to someone who's in that same position? What's the real secret to getting more speaking gigs? And I have spent the money. I've checked out all the webinars and the coaches and the gurus. And I've asked all the questions and I've asked the speakers and who are actually really doing it. The secret is there's no secret. <laughs> the secret <laughs> is truly, it's a lot of work in the sense that it just takes time to do research. And what do you mean research? So you've got to literally, so here's the thing. You have a product. The product and service is you and you're speaking, for instance, right? Well, the issue is nobody knows who you are. And like you said, once you run out of your warm market or your hot market or your friends who have right. put on events, well, then what? So the secret is you're not a speaker. You're not in the business of speaking. You're in the business of marketing your services as a speaker. Mm. And even just to like go even bigger here, right? Authors, so what? I can't hire an author, right? Mm. If you're an author and you have a book, now my job for the rest of my life is to market my book. I'm in the business of marketing my book, which is my message. Because if nobody knows that my book is sitting on Amazon, nobody's going to go buy it just because it looks good. That's just not how it works, right? There's so much competition out there. So much competition. So the real secret is you have to become an expert data collector, researcher, and, and understand how to get in front of the people with the right materials and stuff so that you can get those opportunities. Because if you never get in front of them or they don't know that you exist, mm -hmm. how you just have no chance. And it's so true with business too, which is like, I feel like my strength as a business person is teaching, duh, my background's teaching. And I feel like I've historically sucked at sales and marketing. So I'm just like, I'll build this great course and then millions will find it. Like, no, you have to be out there constantly sharing it, promoting it, giving a little bit of value so people come in and want to learn more. And it's the same with promoting your book, same with promoting yourself as a speaker to get more opportunities. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, and it's, it just takes time. And so are you talking to you about research like just on Google? Well, that's one great place since it is, you know, the, the place to find information nowadays. Right. And thank goodness that we have it. It makes it a lot easier. So, but literally, how much time do you have? How much time do you yeah. want to spend on Google? Because the issue now becomes sitting on Google and researching speaking engagements or people who put on speaking events or, uh, you know, similar to Google are things like LinkedIn or Facebook. Well, how much time do you want to spend on LinkedIn looking for people? And then the problem becomes, well, what do you even say? 
Mm-hmm. Right. What? <laughs> and, but uh, I don't know about you, but my time is worth more than me just sitting in front of a computer all day long, looking up information. Yeah. Cause I mean, it really can be like a full-time job sorting through, like if you just type in into Google, for example, like, um, events for uh, female entrepreneurs in San Diego, June, 2019. And you're just like, okay, what are, what's out there? Like you can find stuff, which is abundance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I've done that. And then I'll get like 15 event bright things that are just like a couple of people just hanging out or whatever. Right. And that's, that can be good, especially to start. Like, I mean, don't turn anything down necessarily, but like, if you're like, okay, I'm at the stage where I'd like to have it be a little bit more highly produced then most likely it's not an event bright one. Or maybe if they have an event bright page, they also link it out to like a, a real landing page for the full event. So it kind of just takes time to sort through all the results and see which ones are really geared towards entrepreneurs. Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. And again, it's just, it's a matter of time and knowing like, so you gave one example of a search. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that search you could spend a week doing and still not get through all the results. Okay. Well then what about, you know, uh, women conferences, San Diego, July, 2019. And what about August, 2019 and September, 2019. And since things are booked anywhere from, you know, a couple months out to a year and a half or two, or even three years out in some cases. Mm. Well, what about 2020 and 2021? Right. right? And what about looking at, for example, searching other speakers like you who speak in your space and seeing, well, what conferences have they been speaking at? Mm. And then go back and look at, well, when do those conferences happen and do they need a speaker? Because not all conferences are going to bring in, mostly, they're not going to bring in the same speakers over and over and over again, because otherwise, why would the conference attendees go, Mm. right? So keynote speakers and topic speakers, they they rotate them around. So there's a whole other avenue of research of finding but here's the thing is like, there is no such thing as this uh, be all end all list out there that you can't find that on Google. Mm-hmm. That doesn't exist. Because we've that looked. <laughs> is left, right. Because we've looked and we've tried and it just doesn't exist. So that's when we got together and we started talking and said, well, if we want to get more speaking engagements, that's what we're going to have to do. Mm-hmm. But we know a lot of people who also want to speak and have a great message to share. You have so many great author clients who yes. have a great message to share. Yeah. So let's reveal what we've been working on because we're practically talking about it already. Because we, we started talking in December mm-hmm. of 2018 and we were like, hey, let's, let's team up and share resources and just collab on doing the research together to just kind of reduce the amount of time that each of us has to spend on sorting through all the junk out there. Because another thing I found is like, you find all these great events and it's like only for uh, educational foundations. Do you know what I mean? It's like submit your proposal and it's like only for educators with like PhDs or something. It's like a very niche thing or like a really engineering kind of one. And it's like only for this certain random segment. And so you're going to pull these all up in your search, but you have to weed them out because they're just not relevant for what we're all trying to do. And so we're like, okay, let's team up, let's do the research and then let's start pitching ourselves and applying to more speaking gigs. And as we were doing it, we're like, holy cow, this list that we're cleaning, curating and cleaning is valuable for other people just like us. Absolutely. Yeah. So we're putting in the time, the effort, the investment, the energy, and learning, like really getting into the weeds of this is how do we create a list of targeted, great, high quality speaking engagements with the information that you need, the dates, a contact information, website information, next mm-hmm. steps. And, and so we're putting that all together in one place and offering it to our favorite friends, clients, people in our inner circle. Yeah. It's like a great extra offering to people who are in my community who get their book done and they're like, okay, now I want to leverage this sucker even more. And I've heard from multiple speaking event organizers and professional speakers where they say, you don't always have to have a book to be able to be a speaker. Some events you do, but I have a friend who's a professional speaker. You, I think, you know, I won't say his name right now, but, um, 
he would get paid to speak. And then he found out that another guy who was not even as good as him got paid like five times the amount because he had published a couple of books. And he was like, wait a second. Okay. I need to publish a book if that's like one of the criteria. So it's just one of those extra things that help you. And even your for those people who say, okay, it doesn't matter. And it doesn't, you can still get hired to speak without a right. book. But if you have a book and you speak and then you just say, oh, and hey, by the way, I wrote this book and I have some here at the back today if you want to get right. it for 20 bucks. Yeah. I mean, there's another way. Now, all of a sudden, you went from being $5,000 for that event to maybe making, I don't know, a couple extra thousand dollars, right? Mm -hmm. Easy. By and then just... some of those people, they're going to have your physical book, you have it right. signed, a photo with you. Now they feel all these connection points. So when they're ready to hire you for or purchase higher products and services, that ROI is going to continue. Exactly. But it all starts with like, you have to have that first step of the information of who am I going to contact to yeah. start pitching myself. <laughs> and that's why I didn't start it earlier. Cause I was just like, it's, ugh, I was just like, I know this is going to be, know, right? it's yeah. like a, it's like a vortex. Like I knew it was going to be crazy. And then once we finally got into it, like December and I went down the rabbit hole more, I was like, holy cow, like no wonder people aren't doing this because it's such a time suck. <laughs> right. So we're doing it for you. If we're you want you. access to our super secret specialist, we are doing something special in the month of February. So mm -hmm. February, 2019. Yes. Uh, before the month runs out or up to 50 people, whichever comes first, mm -hmm. we have super crazy low special pricing. It's $27 a month and each month you're going to get new results. And yes. so we're saying that it's going to be a minimum of 25 curated, targeted, great results. Mm -hmm. um, that could be bigger, but we want to just like say, okay, here's yeah. a minimum you're going to get. Yeah. We also don't want to overwhelm you because we're not right. here to reproduce Google for you. Yeah, exactly. We really want to give you a it thousand a month useful. and you just won't do anything with it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We want something where you can literally go down and check them off and mm -hmm. see which ones are perfect for you. Spend your time applying to those, pitching and mm -hmm. connecting with the event organizers to those instead of spinning your wheels all over Google. And for everyone who gets in in February, we're also going to help you with those next steps. Because just because you have a list doesn't necessarily mean now it, you've solved all your problems. Because now, well, what do you do next? How do you reach out to these people? What materials do you need? Do you need a one sheet, a speaker kit, a, a promo video or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. How do you build relationships with these people so that you position yourself to be invited to speak or to be able to pitch to speak? And so anyone who gets in in February in our, our, our founders group will have unlimited access to all of our future trainings. Yeah, because we have, this is like a soft beta launch that we're doing here in February. So we have a lot of amazing things up our sleeve for trainings like Dave was talking about for how to be a better speaker, how to pitch better, what copy should you use, like all these different things. Yeah. And we're going to make really amazing training videos that we're going to actually sell like as many courses or as many trainings. But if you get in in February as one of our first 50, you get everything. We're not charging you at all. We're like seeing you as the ultimate, I'm on board, let's go yeah. VIP. <laughs> You're doing this with us. And month after month, you'll get this great list of speaking engagements that you can go out and start to build those relationships along with the other trainings that we give you to put together all the materials that you need um, to really land those high paying speaking gigs and those opportunities that you can go and sell your book or sell your products and services on the back end of it. Yeah, not all of them necessarily are paid, but I don't see that as a bad thing. Like, Right. Especially well, I always say it's yeah. you either get paid for a fee or no fee, but it's never free. Right. What do you so mean? <laughs> there's always a way to get something when you're speaking. Because if the, usually when you are not being paid a fee to speak, you are allowed to pitch, sell, something mm -hmm. is given to you in return. And oftentimes, the people who've really made the most money in the speaking industry are actually not fee-paid speakers. Hmm. They are speakers who go and pitch products, services, offers to an audience. And if you are that kind of a speaker or want to be that kind of a speaker, you don't want fee-paid. Like they might offer you five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars to speak, but you could close a room and make a hundred thousand dollars in an hour. Right. 
depending on the product or service that you sell. Right. Cool. And then, oh, one other note, we're starting this, this first list. And if anyone can see my screen, I'm going to share this on my podcast too. So if you want to see this, you can go back to the show notes and you can um, check out the video version, but I'm showing the page. And actually, if you go to copy that pops.com forward slash more speaking gigs, then that will redirect you over to what I'm going to be describing right now. So copy the pops.com forward slash more speaking gigs. And our first list that you're going to be joining, if you want to be a founding member VIP of it is focused on the West coast of the U S so this is California, Nevada, Arizona, Washington, Oregon. We were like, okay, let's not also overwhelm the offerings. Like, oh, you can speak in Africa, Asia, or Florida. Like, let's start here. But our, our plans to also have different lists and different locations if people want to speak in different regions of the U.S. and of the world. And before we started recording, you said something that I did not realize, which is really, really cool. So what was that fact stat you said about Las Vegas? There are something like 20,000, over 20,000, that's a real number, conferences and events in Las Vegas every year, not since the beginning of time, every year. That's so crazy. So there are 20,000 opportunities potentially. So let's say, what's 10% of 20,000? 2,000? If there's 2,000 opportunities, let's say there's only 10% of them that are actually qualified to right. you. There's right. 2,000 opportunities in Las Vegas every year for you to potentially speak. Right now, you have zero of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so imagine if you get a list with month to month, those opportunities coming at you and you get to see what they are and build those relationships and start to pitch yourself. Well, mm -hmm. We might be spending some more time in Vegas next year, won't yeah, we? Yeah, <laughs> I know. I kind of hate Vegas, but hey, if they're going to fly me in and I get to speak like, well, Right? Yeah. Why not? Absolutely. Right. <laughs> so yeah, so the West Coast, we're he both here in San Diego. So of course, that's like a, a great little region that we love to, that we want to do more speaking in because hey, it's right in your backyard. Absolutely. But Nevada is not a very far flight away. And actually, from almost probably anywhere in the world, Las Vegas is one of like the best deals because- they want to encourage people to plan. They want to encourage people. And just having said that too, San Diego, there's a lot of events for sure, as we LA, know. Uh, LA, there's a ton of events. Mm -hmm. Long Beach has a convention center. All of these yeah. places have great conventions. And Santa Barbara has a convention center. Yeah. So there's lots of opportunities along the West Coast. Yeah, I'm excited. So if you go to that URL, you can see where you can buy now for only 27 months. So you can click that button and just put in your credit card information. Actually, you first have to sign up for a little, they just tell you, put in your contact information first, and then the next screen is where you, you pay for it. Uh, we also have a free preview. If you're like, oh, I'm not 100% sure, then you can basically sign up for like a free login of this thing. And we've got and I'm going to also scroll down on the page, we've got a sample research list that includes 15 items. So this is not as big as what we're going to deliver every month. It's just kind of a little sample to give people a taste of, of what the, the list might look like. And as we go, we're going to keep on improving this month to month, giving with feedback from everybody, right. but you're locking in like a grandfathered price that will never be seen again. We're never going to make it 27 a month. Right. And we won't raise it for you. So you're locked in at $27 for life as long as you remain a member. And as, as Laura said, we, we want your feedback and we're going to continue to improve it and give you the information that you need. And eventually as we grow this, not only will we pick other uh, or add other lists and destinations, but I'm foreseeing that what we're going to be able to also do is really get specific in the areas of speaking. So, and we should maybe just mention that is this is going to be great for speakers like you and I who are in the entrepreneurship space, in leadership, transformation, motivation, inspiration. So this will be sort of that type of um, uh, speaking opportunities for you, which many, many people fall into those categories, which is why we've designed it that way. Right, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and in the future we might have a ladies only list. Exactly. Yeah. So lots of lots of cool niches in the future just based on the demand and people's feedback if you really are benefiting from what we're 
Or yeah. And there's definitely going to be because one of the one of the kinds of conferences that I want to target actually is women's conferences. I know that's one that you want to target as well. And so you will see women's conferences on the list for sure, because there are so many great women's conferences right now. And so that's just more opportunity. So we're going to put those on the list for you also. I love that. Mm -hmm. So if anyone's watching the video, I'm just going to click. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm already signed up to this in the screen, so that's not going to work. Yeah. I wanted just to demonstrate because sometimes here, I'll put it in an incognito window because sometimes like it's like, just show me what's on the next screen before I click on any buttons. So if you go to copythepops.com forward slash more speaking gigs and click on the buy now, only $27. You have to do it before February 28th. March I know. 4th. Well, yeah. yeah, you can do it through February 28th, but Yes. Don't be a procrastinator. <laughs> Don't wait Don't till be a procrastinator. the end, just in case. And so it just says create a new account. So you just put in your first name, last name, email, and create a little password because what you're also signing up for is you get a little login and that's where we're going to put trainings and everything. So it's all in one central, easy to access place. Mm -hmm. So once you put that in, you hit sign up on the next page is where you can put in your payment information and then you will have locked in your spot. And even if, if you also jump into the 27 a month, you also get access to the free um, preview of the little um, right. 15 extra. So that's included too. as like a little bonus. When you sign up, you automatically get 15 that you can check out right away. And right. Start and lists start getting delivered in March. So don't delay. Your next speaking opportunity is waiting for you. And I bet it's going to be on that list. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Well, thank you so much for joining me today and sharing some good tips and tricks and revealing this special secret project we've been collaborating on. I'm excited to see where it's going to go. Thank you so much to Laura. I cannot wait to see where we take this next. Yes. <laughs> see you later. Bye.